Hi guys, it's Liliana the Magnificent and welcome back to my main study, Dukes of Honey. In this video, I thought I would show the favorite special event buildings that I collect in my city when I activate my Blue Galaxy double collection boost. Um, I would love to hear, I mean, I know I don't have all of the buildings, um, and I also need to revamp my city too, but I would love to hear what are your go-to top collections because you only get so many when you do the Blue Galaxy. So I want to know what you guys choose and I'll show you what I choose. Um, but let's go. So the Blue Galaxy, you guys, essentially doubles your collection, or it doesn't automatically, it gives you a chance of doubling your collection of special event buildings. It does not work on great buildings like your CF or <laughs> your Dresden, which gives you goods, or your Kraken, which gives you forge points. It does not work on those. Um, Players are also really strategic about when they utilize it because you obviously don't want to utilize your Blue Galaxy to pick up something like a blacksmith, which happens. I'm sure it happens to every player, especially during special event times where you're completing all these side quests. Let me tell you, at least once a freaking <laughs> special event time, I, uh, I turn on my Blue Galaxy and I'm like, oh, look. My, my my blacksmith just became available, available because it wanted five supply productions. And then I go to start collecting my stupid blacksmith and then I suddenly get a pop-up of a two times. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you seriously kidding me right now, Lil? Ugh. I'm sure it's happened to everybody. Drives me insane. Be careful. Or when you're like sleep forging and you're really tired and you're just like randomly clicking your city. I've done that too. Anyway, most players are really strategic about when they utilize their blue galaxy. Um, I've also, just to give you guys um, a little bit of awareness, um, this lovely little collect all finished production button has also recently just dropped on the mobile device, which is fantastic. Granted, I have never ever used it because I am insane and like to strategically do all of my recurring quests at all times and I just I couldn't but I know players that have like a bunch of cities will use this to collect their cities but I've heard what they will do is they will strategically uh, recurring quest their city and use their blue galaxy to collect their top buildings and then after that um, they'll press this collect all finished button because when you use it Apparently, it fills up your entire bar beyond 100, and normally it caps at 100, and you cannot collect more. I don't know if it's a bug or if it was fixed or not. Somebody shed some light because I've never used it, but somebody had said something about it. Like, wow, look at how useful you are right, right now. Let's jump in. Okay, so let's collect it. Right now, mine, I can get nine collections from it. Granted, mine is only a 29, so... Higher level means you can collect from it more times and you have a higher chance. Right now, mine is at 45. So, my top ones. I go after the high forge point productions. Um, the big honking hippodrome, my hippo, I get a lot from it. And um, the, the forge points are just fantastic. So, let's go after it and see if we get anything. So, normally it's 15 and I did not get anything from it. Um, I also don't really go after my recurring quests in the same way. I don't care about shrines or anything because, and if it goes over, it's fine because what matters is the forge points in this, not necessarily the recurring quest aspect. This one is 17. We'll see. Ooh, and I got a double from it. Those are my two um, biggest important ones that I go after because I really, really like the forge points and uh, why the Hippodrome is so awesome. And I mean, mine isn't even as awesome as some other players in other cities is because the, the tracks that you have, the more tracks that you have, the more forge points you have, um, that kind of secondary little boost that you see with the little chain there, um, you can have as many as you want. So you have more chances of collecting more forge points. Okay, so I go after those two. Then I also really like to go after my, oh no, 
Mikawa Bridge um, because it's a 10 Forge Point building. Ooh, yes, and it was a double. Yes. P.S. You guys, I took a screenshot today. I activated my um, space carrier twice because I double collected and um, leveled it this morning. And oh, oh, are you guys ready for this? I have been practicing. I am so excited. I'm going to get this. The okay, hold on. Now I'm now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. I'm gonna say it in my head. Okay, ready? The Himiji. I think that was right. Himiji. The Himiji Castle. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure that was right. One of my, <laughs> I hope it was right, Anton. He gave me a little like mnemonic in my head. The hi and the mi rhyme and the G is like in G's. I hope that's right. If I just botched that, then Anton, you can just, you can PM me and say, come on, Lil, like get your crap together. <laughs> It was probably wrong. Now I'm just depressed. <laughs> anyway, I got 577 forge points. I have never had a bar so full. I got two 200s, two 50s, and then a bunch of 10s. It was uh, such a good day. Oh my God, I even got diamonds this morning. <sighs> that was right because I, was, I wasn't even farming. I wasn't even farming. I was just using my last little bit of attrition in Guild Battlegrounds. It was huge. Okay, sorry. <sighs> I'm just excited about it. I have a screenshot. I'm going to post it somewhere because I'm just so excited. Mine is minimal. Other people have like a thousand. Mine's 577. That's its, that's its max. Okay, anyway. I go after the abandoned asylum because it is a beloved forge point building. <laughs> you all are like, okay, girl. I go after this one because it is a 12 forge point building. This is a Shinto temple. Ooh, and it was a double collect. Look at that. And now this is going to cat me because I'm at 121. So we need to uh, do something with these forge points. And we are going to put them on my Kraken because I am working on making it into the happy 71 land where most of my great buildings are. I just like them all to match. So let's make this happen. What am I at here? You guys also get to see some re recurring quest cycling, which is you know, my favorite thing on planet Earth. I forgot to really actually pay attention to what I was at before. <laughs> Good job, girl. This is, happens to me all the time. I get all excited when I do these videos. And then I, like, my brain really goes to, like, dust. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, here we go. Okay. And... We have, now online, I will say, okay, on PC, you can easily see what you are collecting right here. I have four left. On mobile, though, in order to see these, you either need to go through your great building contribution tab, um, or I mean your great building list, great building contribution tab, you dork, great building list, or you have to press the building and you need to click overview and that's where you can see the time or how many chances you still have on there. I really wish they would make a little bar on the side like they do on PC. That would be awesome. Okay, so I go after those two. If I have a double dip, which means I've just um, either... Um, I, I like I haven't collected my city because I'm being lazy and this is ready to like double collect or something or I've just leveled it. I will use it on um, my airship, but for now I am not using it on my airship. I will use it on my crow's nest because of the chance of diamonds and also the chance of 12 forge points. Um, so that one wasn't a good one, but I also didn't get a double, so not a big deal. Isn't this fun? I just love, I love knowing what you guys go after. It's just a blast. It's all about the forge points, you guys. It's really where you want it. That's why when you go after like a stinking blacksmith, you're like, come on. It's like rage, rage. Okay, this one. Let's see how we do. Okay, we didn't get a double, and that's fine by me because it was only an 8 forge point. I do go after this World's Fair because of the 10 forge point aspect of it, and we were not lucky with that, and I only have one left. So when it comes down to an instance like this, 
Um, I look at this one. This is an eight forge point, but it does give me military, which I do like. So I like going after this one. So, oh, I should say that's the governor's villa. Be more specific, Lil. I'll go after this one. <laughs> Luckily, at least showed it. Um, if I have a double dip moment, like I said, I've just leveled it. I will go after my Olympic treasury. Um, it does give you forge points and goods, uh, which I like there. Um, I've also, a lot of players will go after their statue of honors because of, I mean, seven forge points is pretty good. So they will go after these if it's a double dip moment or if they really want to stock their guild treasury. So it being that it is a level eight, and I should say the level eight ones are where it's at. Otherwise, I mean, you can still use them, but I mean, this is where the max amount of goods and the max amount of forge points are. So if like you really want to focus on building that treasury, then I go after those two there because the forge points are great for you. And also, I mean, your guild is like, thank you for being so kind. I will also look at the Yagdrissel, Yagdrissel. Oh my gosh, another building I cannot say. It is an eight forge point building, which is nice, and it does give goods. I will not go after this one. I don't go after, um, I, I tend to not, unless I have to go after these six forge point ones, but I've got a whole bunch of statues of honor. If I didn't have statues of honor, I would go after these because of the six forge point aspect. But um, like I said, I'd also go after an airship because the airship does give me nine. Um, this is a six, the royal ship, so it gives you more forge points than the pirate ship does. So if you did go after one and you do have a royal ship in your city, go after that one for the forge points. But otherwise, um, those are kind of my top ones. I know I haven't put a wolf in my city yet from the Halloween event, so I'm not even knowledgeable on knowing what a full level has of that, so don't hate me. Um, some of you might like that one. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything because it's not in my city yet. And yes, I also don't have the Harvest Barn set in my city. I'm a terrible person. <sighs> I need to revamp my city. I just haven't had time. Um, so let's, now we've been talking, let's decide which one you want to go. Oh, oh, that's okay. I think I did eight people. <laughs> I just accidentally collected my tree tower. Pretty sure I was ready to aid people and I didn't waste anything on it. Um, okay, do we want to go after an eight forge point or do we want to go after the nine forge point? Mm. This one also does give good goods to the treasury, but only at level 11. Hmm, what to do today? Mm -hmm -hmm. Do I feel lucky? I feel lucky. Let's go after forge points over military. <laughs> and I got double. Worth it. Worth it. Okay, so yeah. And now it's gone here. Um, but those are my top ones. What are your top when you collect your Blue Galaxy? It's a great building. Uh, not a building for newcomers. I would say it it's expensive to level, so you really want to have the forge point inventory or stock in your city to be able to level it. So this is more of a advanced player building, but it's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys all think below. Okay, awesome. If this video is helpful, give it a like. You can always subscribe to my channel, and if you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I put out new videos. Thanks, you guys. Have a great, great day. Bye!